Live across the sunny coast on 91.9 CFM, we are Ellie and Taz. This is something I wanted to bring to the show for just over a month now. Mm. I found out through my sister who's slightly involved in this activity. I don't know. Subculture. I'd love to say it's a sport. And you know what? I might be corrected in a second. Mm -hmm. Uh, But there is a world championships of jigsaw puzzling. Yeah, competitive puzzling. And we had a sunny coaster go over and compete a month and a half ago at jigsaw puzzling. Now, we got so many questions. I know a little bit about this because my sister's involved sort of at a local level. Mm. But you've, this is the first time you've ever heard about it. Absolutely. So, luckily enough, we've got Jace, competitive puzzler, in the studio with us now. Now, hi, Jace. Hi. Now, you have just returned from the World Puzzling Championships, right? Yes. So what exactly happens at the World Puzzling Championships? Uh, So a lot of us all converge in this uh, small city in Spain called Valladolid and uh, go through a gauntlet of qualifiers, semifinals and so on and do an awful lot of jigsaw puzzles. So the the main thing is you have to do the jigsaw puzzle. It can be a solo event. Uh, duos? Solo, pairs, and yep. teams of four. Yeah, cool. So, And we- you're racing to compete a puzzle, is that it? Uh, yes. Uh, in teams, it's actually two puzzles. Oh, okay. So yep. it's, uh, yeah, there's a lot of a lot of pieces. Two puzzles, as in, so they just open the box and pour it on the table no, and they're mixed quite. together? Okay. God, uh, that'd be tough. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's one after the other. So you've right. got to do one, finish it, and then yeah. do the second one. Okay. Okay. I have so many questions. Everybody about loves this. puzzling. That's mm. why I thought I'd bring it to the show. First is everybody's done a jigsaw puzzle in their oh, life. COVID. Whether you're good or bad, and yeah, over COVID would have been fantastic for yeah. the activity. Um, so my sister competes locally. She has eyes on the world's next year. Do you think she's good enough? She's a very fast puzzler. She's faster than me, and yeah, oh, she's hey. she's definitely worth a shot there. She doesn't need the ego boost, so we, <laughs> we'll, we'll hope she's not listening this afternoon. So what goes into training to be a good puzzler? Like, do you have to do, you know, like if, you know, you want to go to a sprinting world championships, you're sprinting every day. Are you doing the same with your brain yes. for puzzling? Yeah, uh, lots of jigsaw puzzles is the best way to train. Really? And so do you <laughs> test yourself? Do you, like, okay, do you go edges first? Uh, it depends on the puzzle. Yep. So... Here we go. Imagine if a puzzle's just got, I don't know, a massive blue sky all the way around. I hate that, yeah. It's not going to help you get the puzzle done quickly. So whatever catches your eye, always do whatever looks the easiest, do that first because then you can build from there. And often that's the edge, but not always. Do you get given the picture of what it's supposed to be? It's always on the front of the box. Okay, that's handy. (laughs) And I'm guessing every team is doing the same puzzle as well because otherwise it would be unfair. Uh, Normally. uh, Okay. So... For individuals and pairs, yes. Yep. For teams, um, in the qualifiers, you get uh, a choice of four puzzles and then you can pick which of those two. So there's an element of strategy in yeah. your, your choice, what you do first, because you know, you're know you sitting at a table for a long while. It's yep. going to be – it's fatiguing. So yep. you kind of want to maybe go the easy one first or something that you're all familiar with. And it, it varies from team to team. Okay, I've got a good question. People mm. are at home. Maybe they might have a 500-piece or a 1,000-piece or a puzzle. Mm-hmm. Uh, if people want to see if they're any good at this, what's wh- how should they get involved or should they be testing themselves at home? What sort of times should we be gaming for? Uh, look, it, definitely don't look at what the fastest in the world do. Okay. Because yeah. <laughs> look, uh, the world... The, it's like the, going, do you want to run? Yes. Yeah. Don't look at Usain Bolt. No. Oh, I, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Don't, don't look at Alejandro. He yeah. completed yeah. a 500 piece in 37 minutes um, at oh. Worlds, as did the second okay. place, Kristen. So wow. don't okay. don't look at them. <laughs> Where are they from in the world? Are they uh, Alejandro is Spanish? Yeah. And Kristen is from Norway. Oh. Okay. Do you ever get? Because I found when I was in my puzzle era of COVID, um, you get the puzzle claw with your hand, like when you've been puzzling for too long. <laughs> Like, it just, you get, you can't see it on radio, but you know what She's I mean? got little T-Rex arms yeah. at the moment. You ever get puzzle claw? Uh, I don't know. I guess with, when, when you're trying to do a puzzle quickly, you're hoping to be done fast enough that that doesn't become a problem. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. his. That's his nice way of saying maybe you're not good enough at doing puzzles. <laughs> One, <laughs> I did have a COVID, it took me like two weeks. It was yeah. on my floor, my living room floor, and I was just sitting down at it each night like, come on, I can get it done. Now, if people want to do uh, competitive puzzling, where should they go? Is there a Facebook page to, to join, things like that? Uh, yes. Yeah, so the Australian Jigsaw Puzzle Association Facebook page yep. um, and website uh, is great for um, meeting other puzzlers and seeing what other people are doing. There's a wonderful community of people. Great. Um, 
and uh, the association runs the uh, all of the state championships and national championships in Australia. Amazing. Fantastic. All right, Tazzy, I reckon you and I need to try out some competitive puzzling at some stage in our yeah, lives. Yeah, let's let's do a five hundred piece puzzle. I feel like, seconds. but but Minutes. Jason is versing us, so it's you and yeah. me v Jason. I still think Jason will win. <laughs> Absolutely, Jace. Thank you so much for coming in and shedding some light on the world of competitive jigsaw puzzling. No problem.